Hi Aries and welcome to the channel. I hope all of you are well. Thank you for tuning in. So it is the 5th of July. I almost said January. I don't know why, but it's the 5th of July. We're just after Independence Day. So I hope all of you are doing great. Yesterday around 1 o'clock Pacific, there was a pretty big yacht to Libra. It passed pretty quickly because the Yod apex point at the very top of this life-changing energy was in Libra, which was a rising. So it was just the ascending energy of that particular moment at that time of day caused chaos. <laughs> we had Mars conjunct Venus. No, we had Mars conjunct Saturn. So there was karma and we have Saturn in retrograde right now. So old karma, things unfinished, um, lessons not learned, conjunct Mars, which is like, you better get this done. It's, you know, it's happening now. Um, and Mars can also be anger or frustration with old karma, um, lessons that not learned, things that are repeated, straight up to Libra, which is the relationship or the justice, um, the partnership comes first. So I was actually thinking in that moment in time, because traffic was really, really bad and we could barely just get around. And um, I thought, to, I looked and I saw that there was a yacht energy going on and I thought, you know, this is something we should have learned. Like this time of day, this particular route is like gonna just be really bad. And um, you know, yods cause powerful energies. So it depends on how you handle the powerful energy. If you are frustrated, it'll come out as frustration. If you see it as something to learn from um, or use, you know, to your benefit even, I don't know how that could happen. You could observe, step back and observe. Um, you know, Saturn to Mars, both are malefic planets. So you have to channel the energy into a positive way. Otherwise you can get really upset. And then Libra wants everything to be perfect. It's Venus, wants everything to be fair for me and you. Like, you know, Libra to me looks for what's not fair what's not fair for me and then what's not fair for you to the extreme like sometimes um so you know you've got that going on but so that was yesterday but it passed quickly it was over within like an hour or less it was but that was the moment that we were out and you know nothing happened it was just like a gridlock like you're just not gonna get anywhere um but let's see, Spirit and Angels, show us for Aries. Ooh, this is nice, Ten of Cups. You're coming up with happiness. Well, there's something really positive happening. Ten of Cups is the main energy, Eight of Rods accelerating. So, I'm not, they came out together. Well, we'll see, acceleration. Things are moving swiftly in one direction. Three of Cups, friends, social energy, um, people sharing feelings, messages from friends, six of air to an eight of cups. You're staying out of something that would cause you stress. So you are moving towards peace. <laughs> okay, so let's see here, Aries. Hey man, something was stuck. You felt like you were stuck in a situation. Um, major arcana for having to see something from a different point of view. Someone around you needs you or misses you. Five of the coin. Temperance energy, being patient. Oh wow, nine of cups and death. So something is changing in your favor right here something is going to be working out to your extreme benefit so because it closes out the cycle it's done it over with and you are so happy about it right here nine of cups your energy is an ace of cups you feel overwhelming emotions you're going to be so happy the person around you may not feel included 
five of coin. They may not feel, they need to get over it, I feel like. There's something where it's like, just get over it. Um, what is this five of coin? Like, get over it. Oh, there's a ten coming. So you have a ten of pentacles coming for you here, Aries. Wow. Um, promotions, raises, loans, um, big investments paying off. Underlying the this, we have the star card. So we have hope for the future and healing. So underlying is other people sharing emotions. Um sharing feelings friendships in the past feeling stuck feeling like it's not going forward I, there's nothing i can do about this i'm just submerged in this situation <clears throat> why is there a five of coin with a ten of coin why is that here four of swords somebody's not exactly included in a conversation of some kind they are well, they've laid down their sword, and they're not going to talk. Why are you Ace of Cups here, Aries? Wow, you're still in the same energy. So you are in a seven of fire. You're standing your ground, defending your position, brave, um, up against others who may not agree with you. There's a four of cups um, and a four of swords and a five of coins with the devil. Somebody could be obsessive, like obsessively. Uh, there could be something negative around a, an earth sign. We have a Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo person coming forward with a message. There is the devil in the moon. So there could be something hidden in that energy. Um, your energy though, Aries, for the first house, people with Aries placements. Um, we have you being brave and getting your just desserts here whatever it is that you have been fighting for um up against you know feeling like you're you know maybe even up against other people um not sure why someone around you is not getting what they need and also choosing to lay down the sword and say you know i'm not going to get what i need so i'm just over here being quiet what is the seven of pentacles about here the four or I'm sorry seven of cups two of four of cups I just don't care there's so many things to choose from what is this here page of cups somebody's choosing to stay out of something they don't want to high priestess they don't want to be involved they want to stay out of it so you get the glory here with the two of pentacles and the six of wands you get the glory from it's like maybe somebody's backing out of a, a job or a competition. They're just saying, I'm not throwing my hat in the ring. Um, here you are. You get to win with the justice. So I don't want to say it's like I win, you lose. But it's more like I stayed in the game. So you chose to leave for whatever reason. This person, they chose to step out the justice and the death so something here is changing you don't exactly know why but it is changing for the better um you have the death with the nine of cups here i think it was the death and the nine of cups ten of pentacles two of coin making a choice and then we have here the heroes victory queen of wands aries energy is this the wheel of fortune it is fate this is fate. What else for Aries energy? There's a king of the water, a Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio, someone highly emotional. The four of coins, somebody's holding back. Okay. What is the outcome here about with the ten of coins, the nine of cups, the justice, the hierophant? Okay. A decision is made in your favor right here so it's a favorable decision coming from like some organizational structure what do we have as the seven of wands the four of wands you have the safety security of your home your family your job is good what's coming up in the future position here strength and i'm also going to take this here Ooh, 
I've got the, the star card, hope for the future and healing, release and letting go, and the nine of water with a tower. Wow. You don't see this coming. It is really good news. Some amazing news is coming your way here, Aries. Look at that. Okay. Well, I'm going to use the Lenormand. I like this big Lenormand. Um, I don't know if any of you have tried Nespresso. <laughs> this is just a side note. I'm not paid to say this, but Nespresso is like so freaking good. Um, I have the Virtuo and the hazelnut one is just, it's literally better than most coffee houses. Um, it costs a little bit more, but it, you're basically making it in your kitchen the same as, as the same as a coffee house. And I just put like a little bit of, um, coffee mate hazelnut in it, but Ooh, it is amazing. And then you don't have to drive anywhere. You don't have to go anywhere. Mmm, a snake. So the snake represents, you know, somebody who is, you know, unsavory characters, somebody not that nice. What do we have here for Aries? Show us what's going on around Aries energies. The Ten of Pentacles and the Fate. So the star card is the fate and the ten of pentacles is the firm foundation, the solid foundation, the book. Um, we have the child. There could be something about a child or childhood. We got the bouquet of flowers and the discipline. Oh my goodness. Okay, so we have discipline and a bouquet of flowers. There may have been something overly strict or overly demanding or like something that you were up against. We have the 10 of cups here with the dog. A lot of happiness. Your main energy today was 10 of cups. Cutting something away. Ooh, and the four-leaf clover of good luck. So you have luck on your side. We have the ring of commitment underlying. I like that. Let's use the witch's wisdom and see what comes up here. Re going through a rebirth. Going through a renewal and a rebirth. I swear, I thought I had ascension symptoms last night really bad because, oh, we got Samhain with the death. Um, I had, like, ascension symptoms, for real. Like, it was powerful. Um, kind of like the feeling of, like, being having a really strong Moldavite. It was just, like, this intense purging of, like, I don't know what, but um, mm. it was there, and I was like, hmm, why do I have ascension symptoms? You know, what's going on? <laughs> But, um, so we have a rebirth. You're going to be very happy with this major change, the death card to the nine of cups to the 10 of pentacles, but your energy is, um, Mars Leo. You're being brave. You're standing your ground. You're, um, defending your position. Somebody else is in a five of coin and four of swords. They don't have what they need yet. They don't want to discuss it with you or talk to you. Um, very strange. I mean, why would that be? I don't know. You have a bouquet of flowers and a whip. So it's like somebody, I don't know, may have been very disciplined. Uh, show us one or two more for the outcome. What does Aries need to see here? The two of cups and the nine of coin. Okay. Excitement in a partnership, a relationship, a business partnership. You have the excitement of the ace of fire and the two of water, the heart to heart connection. Um, the strong emotional bond. Maybe a soulmate. Um, but that's what I have for you, Aries. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye, Aries.